What's up guys, Sucker T here, and today I'm back with our video. Please make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and check the miss for Roblox group. So guys, today I'm going to be doing another top 5 video where I'm just going to be counting down the top 5 features and events that I'm most excited to see coming to Tower Defense Simulator in the future. Now keep in mind that these events are 100% coming, but they were mentioned before for most likely coming in the future and they're originally planned, but some of these can be easily cancelled at any time, so take it with a grain of salt at the same time. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and also let me know in the comments what you guys um, are most excited for to come to Tower Defense Simulator. So coming in at number 5, we have PvP. Now if you guys didn't know, Tower Defense Simulator is eventually going to add a player versus player mode that was originally in the game a long time ago. And originally, it was in the it was in the game like just a, like I think yeah probably I think right before the spring event I want to say when PvP was mainly in the game and right around when I played it's like is when it left and from what I've been hearing is that they're gonna probably plan to bring it back in the future since originally by the mega server mega servers they used to have that little sign where it says uh, PvP is temporarily disabled and will be back in the future so overall. Yeah, so that's why PvP comes in at number 5. So, coming in at number 4, we have the Retro Events. Now, if you guys didn't know, Tower Defense Simulator was planning on doing a Retro Event. Uh, we don't know too much about the Retro Event, but we, well, I'm guessing it's going to be really cool. Because, I mean, all the Tower Defense Simulator events event so far have been really, really cool. And it'll be another event that will be kind of like not really based on the holiday, such as when Commando came out here. One event and Gladiator came out with the sword fight on the heights of them. And overall, I just always like seeing a new event coming to Tower Defense Simulator, and yeah, so that's why the retro event comes in at number 4. So coming in at number 3, it's the thing we've been waiting for for the last couple months now. It's the classic good old 2020-2021 uh, winter event. Now, actually, from what I've been hearing, it's not going to be fully called the winter event anymore, it's what I've been hearing around as a rumor. But pretty much, it's uh, pretty much the event that literally lets us really get that Christmas tower, and being the Sledger, and also as well as what that was will also be the time when Gunner releases for the public as well. And overall, I believe that probably this event's gonna be really good because they've been taking a lot of time on it, and I'm really, I really have my hopes up for it because it's gonna probably be. I mean, they've been spending a lot of time, so they really taking their time and making sure everything's perfect, probably. So gonna be really really sick and yeah so that's why the winter event came in at number three so coming in at number two it's the arsenal collab now i've mentioned this recently in one of my theory videos I'm talking about this but if you guys haven't watched that video you guys want a short little uh explanation what the arsenal collab is that uh roll of paradoxum they were going to do like a collab where i think they're going to probably add an arsenal tower in the game you're able to get for a limited time for like probably like a month or two like how normal tbs events are or it could be skins we don't really know but we can base it off that one image that they sent on that i showed on that video make sure to go check that video out if you guys want to know more about that event but overall i mean it's just it would just be amazing to see tds collab with another great game being arsenal and roblox and it'd be really interesting to see what kind of content we get for that collab if it does happen in the future and that's why the arsenal collab comes in number two so coming in at number one this is one thing i've been waiting for for a really long time and it was uh, i also covered in a recent theory video it's evolved towers now evolved towers are going to be very interesting i mean they're probably going to they're going to replace golden skins well not fully because golden skins may apparently be able to be like this cosmetic wise but uh, what evolved towers are going to be is that evolved towers are going to be pretty much like the new golden towers and for example instead of golden minigunner we're going to have juggernaut for the minigunner and instead of golden crook boss we're going to have kingpin for the crook boss or say golden golden you know crook boss so overall though i really do think evolved towers are really neat and definitely they're going to be cool because they may have some special mechanics maybe, maybe like this, maybe like that, that. We really don't know because we've only seen screenshots and we've only seen what like the base stats of them are from the Halloween testing, which those are probably just placeholders for now. So we can't fully tell and we also have no idea when this, when they are being added. All we do know is that there's a good chance they'll be added in the near future. And yeah guys, that's going to sum it up for today's video. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and check the Mr. Roblox group. Also, let me know any uh, kind of topics or like theories and stuff like that. That have, have stuff been announced for Tower Defense Silver hasn't come out yet. 
that you guys want me to do a theory video on. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, everyone. Take care.